Okay, uh, this evening I'm gonna make an uh, underwater flounder light. Um, so when we go flounder gigging, we can see better. Um, this is one I've already made, and I started making the other one. And then I said, well, you know, let's make a video. Well, so we're gonna make a video. Anyway, it's on about a four foot, half inch piece of PVC pipe. And then I have it bolted down on the bottom with a quarter twenty bolt and nut. Um, pick up at the hardware store. And then I've got what little bit of wire I had left soldered in. I got to get some more wire. Um, but this is the wire I used. I'll tell you how I did that. But I don't have any more wire to show you with. But I can tell you, and y'all can figure it out. I hope. Alright, this is the light that I got. They're fairly bright for what I paid for them. Um, got them off of Amazon. They are listed as focus. Well, no like it's going to focus. Anyway, it's supposed to be waterproof. Not water resistant, waterproof. Um, we'll see. The salt water around here eats all kind of stuff up. Um... It's a 90 degree flood light. I guess that's 90 degree flood light and then 18 watts. Um, but it's pretty bright. So I got them off Amazon for I think like 10 bucks. Made in China, so I don't expect them to last very long. As long as I get a couple gig trips out of it. So, here's the wire. Let's get it out of here. The hard work to get. camera in the mouth. Much easier if I was using two hands. There we go. Anyway, that's the light. Man, it is pretty bright. And I bought these to go under the water. The water down here is kind of murky, or I say down here where I go gigging. It's kind of murky. It can be real bad at times. And um, so these, I'm hoping we can set these under the water and see better. Now, I've got this light here, um, which I ordered. I'm trying to upgrade my lights just to, to be better, to see better, we be more productive when we go. I got to figure out how I'm gonna mount this one on the bow here. It's 20 inch. I think I, it came off Amazon too. Same website as this one. Um, I'm gonna mount these or this one somewhere like that, but it'll be removable because um, I don't always gig in this boat. We use this boat for everything. Um, anyway, maybe some piece of people. Yeah, baby. <laughs> piece of PVC pipe. I cut it about four foot long. Um, I've already drilled, like I said, this making this video was an afterthought. I've already drilled the hole for the bolt and the hardware kit. And um haven't quite figured out how to, I'm going to attach it to the boat. I think I'm going to take uh, some C-clamps and uh, zip tie them to the pole and then just kind of clamp them like that. I think I've got some clamps in here that I keep in the boat for yep, right back here in the back. Let's go get them. There's the anchor that you've seen in, in Aqua Chigger's video that he found for me. find some way to mount that C-clamp like that and I use zip ties so I can slide it up and down to adjust it in the, in the, in the water. That's probably how I'm going to do that. Um, these wires. I'm not a fan of butt connecting wires. We just crimp on butt connectors. I like to solder my wires together because it's a good connection and you really should never have to worry about it again. So I don't doing the wire in this video because I don't have any more. I gotta get some from Napa. 
local Napa store. Um, anyway, I soldered the wires. Just my roll of solder got rolled over, run over by a um, asphalt roller at one of my other jobs I used to work at. But I'm cheap, so I kept it. Anyway, and I'll solder my wires together and put shrink tube over top of them and then put some more shrink tube over top of that to keep the water out. And this salt water is extremely corrosive. Right here. So shrink tube with a with an uh uh call it crap glue inside it so it seals really good. You never have to worry about that connection again. And I'm out of alligator clips. But on this end, I'm gonna, I'll solder on alligator clips to hook to the batteries. Oh. Now we're going to open up the hardware kit. Nice kid to get me for Christmas. Can't believe I ain't lost it yet. It comes with a mounting bracket, bolts, nuts, and a lock washer, and an Allen wrench to put it together with. But I'm not going to use this mounting bolt. I'm going to use one that I picked up at uh, the hardware store. Um, this is a quarter twenty, about an inch and a half long, I believe. Set that in there like that. And then, oh, they gave me an extra one. Wow. That drops down in there. Ah, come on. No, cooperate. Usually don't have this much trouble. trying to show out. You see it down in there? Well, you don't need to wrench. It's the right size. Allen wrench could be a little longer. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got the other one started. Had to turn the camera off there for a minute. Sorry about that. Anyway, I'll pull this one down tight. Not super tight, but just enough to make it where it doesn't want to fluff around too easy. And you can tell the quality on this is not that great. There's a big gap here. I'm having to squeeze this together, and they didn't give me any kind of spacers or washers, um, which is fine. I can make it work. I'm not worried about what it looks like because it's underwater and I'm pretty sure flounder don't care. Alright, now what we're going to do, I'm going to take a quarter twenty, put it through there. And we're going to take, set that on there. Actually, we can go the other way with it. Okay. I'm struggling. So I'll come back with a wrench and tighten this up later. But. 7 sixteenths is what that is, a quarter twenty, seven sixteenths nut size. And make sure your wire make sure your wire comes out the top. And like I said we're gonna, we're gonna zip tie the wire to the pole as we goes up. And then I'm gonna see if I can find some zip ties to zip tie this clamp to the 
PVC pipe. P there we go again. The PVC pipe. And that way I can slide it up and down for the depth if, as needed. Um, and I may, you know, this light, this is aluminum, so I can't weld to it. I mean, I can. I don't have an aluminum welder, but I could weld to it. I had an aluminum welder, but you can't weld cast to aluminum, cast steel to aluminum. So what I may do is make some brackets up, a bolt to this bracket, and then I can weld to some clamps like this. Um, I think that's what I'll end up doing. Uh, these are cheap. I think I'm like a dollar ninety-nine at Walmart. No, I mean I, I usually buy a couple of them because they're always good to have. I think that's what I might do for that one. And same thing on the wire for this one. Because I got to get more wire, but is solder the connect, uh, wire connection together and put shrink tube on them with the uh, adhesive inside of. Um, see here. These are, um, this is not soldered. I don't care for that. Um, this was the way when I got the boat, but one of these days I'm going to do away with that. I mean, it's shrink too with the ceiling in it. But the problem with these is, is if you crimp them, and if you can't see right there where my thumb is, if you crimp them and you cut the plastic, which is what happened here, and you go to pull the shrink tube down, it starts to open up. Now that's a place for corrosion to get in there and then we're going to have problems with these connectors. I just got time, just ain't done it yet. And just cut these off and redo it. So, I think that's it. I'm going to see if I can find some zip ties. I know I got some around here somewhere in all my junk. And uh, so we can't make that idea work. Believe it or not, I found one. So, zip tie. I think this is may or may not work. I'll I'll come up with something. I even considered taking a piece of plywood or a piece of wood and drilling a hole in it, the same size as the uh, pipe, and a series of other holes that I can put a pin in to hold it and then maybe put something heavy on inside the boat to hold the other end down. I said this is just an experiment to see if it'll work and I believe it will. Yep. It will. I'll be able to Slide it up and down. Yep, that's gonna work out nice. Keep that good and tight. Yeah, that's gonna work out nice. Yep, I like that. See that board hanging out from right the boat? My carriage bolts to hold my bunk on broke off a couple of months ago. I gotta get the boat off the trailer and a carriage bolt. I see either have the boat off the trailer and don't have a carriage bolt or have a carriage bolt and the boat on the trailer. But yeah. I think that's gonna work out nice. <laughs>